Ladies and gentlemen, this is being brought to you by Sylvester Busby. On August the 4th, vote Sylvester Busby, Sheriff of Jones County. I'm joined now from at Laurel High School with Coach Marcus Price, who is getting his team ready to compete for the state championships in Jackson on Wednesday night at 8 o'clock against Center Hill. His Tornadoes finished 23-5 and and are looking to make the finals once again, and uh, it's either going to be Callaway or Pascagoula. Coach, talk to us uh, about, uh, you know, going up there and taking on Center Hill. Um, you know, their record is, is a bit deceiving than what it actually is. Well, they actually had a player who was ineligible the first half of the season, so they weren't the, the same team that they are now. With, with that new point guard, they've been very, very tough. And uh, we've been preparing for just about any, everything that we could possibly see from them. At this point in the season, everybody you play will be great. You know, everybody's had a great year, and everybody's very fortunate to be in the situation that they're in, including us. And we're just looking forward to going up and being able to compete and trying to play up to the tornado standard. How does having experience uh, already playing in Jackson, uh, you know, how does that help? Uh, this year, it's your, your first game will be at Jackson State, so. Uh, talk to us about that. You know the, uh, the familiar, uh, the familiarity with uh, you know Jackson State, and you know will it be a big difference, or are you, you guys just going to go out there and play ball? Uh, basically, we're going to try to keep our, our, our game plan the same. We'll have our shoot around and everything just like we normally do with a normal game. That's a two-hour trip. We'll do everything here. We'll go on the bus. We'll take the same bus. We won't take a charter or anything, and try to keep it the same way and try to keep everything as, as normal as possible. Um, we've been to Jackson the last three years and have been unable to get past that, that first game. So this is a big game for us in terms of our maturity and the maturity of our program. Uh, my guys are guys that have basically been able to be successful by winning the, the football state championship. They understand that you have to overcome certain adversities in order to be able to be successful in the postseason. And we want to try to draw from the energy from that uh, winning the, the, the 5A state championship this year versus Oxford and translate that into uh, some success in the postseason in basketball. Talk to me what it means uh, to be, for you to be able to represent Laurel and your team, uh, to be able to go and, uh, you know, back again and try to get that uh, state championship. Well, we, at the beginning of the season, we said we had one, one goal. It was goal, ball, or bust. That's something we kind of just said around here. And basically, we, we set our standards based on uh, trying to do the right things, making sure we play team basketball, making sure we share the basketball, make sure we root for one another. And if you notice on the back of our jerseys, we have family. We, we, we treat our program like a family unit, and we know that everybody has a job to do. And whether it be the first man or the 15th man, we all have something that we have to contribute to to the family. And based on that, that those things have helped us to be successful thus far, and hopefully it'll help us to, to go to Jackson and, and experience some new success. All right, check back tomorrow as uh, we get ready uh, for the Tornadoes and Center Hill tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Check uh, Twitter for updates and uh, more. We'll be back Wednesday with an update uh, with Coach Murray of West Jones. So until next time, we'll see you.